So we've taken a look at the structure of our sample database, vinyl dealers. Now we're going to look at ways to connect using PHP to the database and to select a database from it. And we're going to perform a short query within our script to test that we've done those things successfully. We start out by making a connection to the database. The way we do that is to declare a variable, we'll call it db, and then we'll set it to the result of this function, MySQL Connect. And MySQL Connect, don't forget the underscore between the two words to spell the function correctly. This function takes three arguments, first of which is the host name. And because it's localhost is a host name, we can safely, for the moment, while we're developing on our local machine and no networking is involved, we can say safely leave out the other two arguments, which would be the port and the password. So we can just give that one argument for the moment. And the result of this function is set to this value of this variable. Then we're going to use another PHP database function called MySQL select DB. And you'll notice that the name of the specific database that we're using, in this case MySQL, is included within the function name. The reason for this is that PHP has the capability to access a wide variety of different databases and has support for a lot of these databases through inbuilt functions such as MySQL Connect. And there are similar parallel functions, although not necessarily the same syntax, with a whole load of different databases. That's why we're using MySQL Connect to specify because we're using a MySQL database in this case. MySQL Select DB takes two, param two arguments first of which is the name of the database that we wish to select and the second is the connection that we wish to use to select that database. In this case it's DB which is the connection we specified in this line. This argument is optional. If we left it out PHP would look for the last connection that was defined, in this case db, and use that. So in, in this example we could just as well leave out that particular argument. But for the sake of clarity I'll leave that one in. And then to test that the connection has been made and we've successfully selected the correct database we're going to perform a short query. We're going to use a very simple bit of structured query language, SQL, which is going to select all the data from the shops table. And we're going to assign this to variable query. Now, all that's being assigned here is simply this string of characters here. It doesn't by this line does not in any way perform a query on any database. All it does is set this set of text to this string variable. In order to get the query to be carried out, we need to define another variable and use a function called MySQL query, which does pretty much what you would expect it to do. It carries out the query on the selected database using the string of SQL specified as the argument that it takes. In this case, select everything from the shops table. Next we're going to use a very simple PHP function to make sure that the, the, connect, the connection has been made and the query has been carried out successfully. So in this case, what 
we're going to just take the name of the table from a particular field. In this case, the first field in result, which is the result of this query. And all this function does, MySQL field, t field table, is it returns the name of the table that the field that we specify here is taken from. You don't need to worry about this function right at the moment. All we're using it for is just to check that the other stuff that we've done in this script is actually working. So we're going to echo table variable to the browser. So let's save that. And all that's being echoed to the browser is the name of the table. So if any of this has gone wrong, then we'll get nothing echoed to the browser or the wrong table name or something. And if it works, then we're going to get the name shops. So let's test it. Go to our browser, and we've got the address in there, so we can just hit refresh, and we get the table name shops. So we've successfully connected to our database, selected the database that we want to use, and we've run a short query, and we've checked that that's successful. In our next movie, we're going to look at more useful things that you can do with PHP's database connectivity.